What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode on the Chris Law Network. I am your host, Chris Law. Today, I want to talk to y'all about how child support is the devil. Yes, I said child support is the devil. The devil, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Satan, or you can check all of the above. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode on the Chris Law Network. I am your host, Chris Law. Today, I want to talk to you about how child support is the devil. Yes, the devil, Beelzebub, Lucifer, Satan, or you can definitely click all of the above. I've been on child support since 2001. Now, something I am happy about, as of today, May 18th, 2020, I am no longer on child support. I went to the uh, child support website this morning as soon as I woke up. I had been waiting on the uh, website to update so I could see that my balance was down to zero. Fortunately, my balance is down to zero. Of course, I immediately called them and I was informed that, yes, they do owe me a lot of money back because they did take my stimulus check. So they owe me a lot of money back. They um, took money from the unemployment that I just started receiving. I'll be getting that back as well. So. I'm also waiting on um, a closure letter to be sent to me along with my child's mom. And they're also going to send out. Um, it was another paper they're going to send out. I think it's the uh, termination papers that they're going to send over to the uh, Georgia Department of Labor. Um, I can honestly say it's been a long road. But what I'm here today to tell you guys is. Unfortunately, child support is not on our side. OK, child support will suspend your license. If you have the type of uh, child's mom that wants to do things for spite, it's very easy for her to go down to the child support office and get a court case started on you and you could possibly go to jail. I can honestly say that I was fortunate enough to not have that problem. My child's mom was not one of the ones that would, you know, go down to the child support office and report. But I also never got really that far behind. Like I know people that are 20,000, 30,000 or even more thousands you know, behind in child support. And it's like, you know, not saying things don't happen, but that actually comes from a situation of just downright neglect and you're not sending anything. One thing about child support is you have to send something. Everything with child support is computer generated. If you don't send any payments in within 30, 60, 90 days or something like that, the computer is going to generate something to come out to you to suspend your license. It happens all the time. I've been there done that now one thing i can say about how child support works they are not on our side that sun is really shining they are not on our side at all okay one thing that i do know is a lot of women out here are spiteful so you guys that are out here on 20 and thirty thousand dollars please get yourself in order try to find you some kind of way listen i'm going to give you the inside game on what to do for child support now what you have to do is send something if you send nothing, what happens is they have a, um, a automated system or rather it's automatically generated that when there's no activity on your child support account for 60 days or more, they're going to automatically try to suspend your license. Now, there is a way to get around that. As I just previously said, if you're sending something, it glitches the system to the point that, hey, they won't mess with you because, again, it's automatically generated. I remember one time I made a payment of like three thousand dollars and then I didn't make any more payments for about maybe three months or something like that. And I got summoned to come to court and I was like, well, wait a minute. Why am I coming to court? And the first thing I thought was, wait a minute, is this something that she's doing? And it wasn't. It's because the computer generates off of activity. If there's no activity with your account you're going to be penalized. So again, always send something. Another thing is if your license does get suspended, you have options. You can download the app or actually go to the website. And what you do is you put in that you've either started a new job, which is the main thing that I try to tell all of my friends who their driver's license was suspended at one point, put down that you started a new job, they're going to give you your license back. They're going to release your license. Now, depending on how long your license has been suspended, you may have to pay a fee with your local DMV. But outside of that, you will be able to get your driver's license back. I had a person that I'm cool with that they didn't have a driver's license for five or six years until I learned how to 
basically manipulate the system. And I showed them the way. Now they have their driver's license all because of the way that the system is. It's all computer generated. I remember when uh, when I first started because I put myself on child support. When I first started my child support case, I was working for Bell South. I had a really good job. I was young, like 21, 22 years old. And um, what happened was they made the uh, the payments based off of that job. Now, I only worked at that job for two, maybe three years since that time. They never would do a review and modification. And what was crazy, you had to pay for a review and modification. It wasn't like you could just go in there and just, hey, I don't have that same job. You know, I need to make you know, I need to be paying less amount. No, you had to do a review and modification and you had to pay for the review and modification. That's just how child support is. But again, I'm here today to give you guys a little even if it's a little help. Number one. Always make sure that you're paying something. I don't care if it's $50 a week, $100 a month, whatever you can afford. Make sure you're making payments because that will show activity on your case. If there's no activity for an extended amount of time, again, I want to say roughly 60 to 90 days, you're going to get a letter. You are going to get a letter and it's probably going to be to suspend your license. Now, I know a lot of guys have been commenting on that last video that I posted about how child support took my stimulus check. I've been seeing a lot. I mean, a lot of comments from other guys that are saying that it happened to them, too. Guys, what I'm going to say is this. Depending on what you owe, of course, you're not going to get it back. If you're really behind, you're never going to get that money back. Um, it's like a catch 22. It's like, yeah, you want the money. But of course, that money goes to your child. Now, a lot of guys out here are having problems with what child support is doing to their taxes, stimulus checks, their regular job, their unemployment. Again, guys, they're going to take your money. They are the devil. They're worse than the IRS. They know where you are before you even get there. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you today is don't let it stress you out. You can look at me and say, hey, this is a person that made it through, but I know that's not going to help your pockets. So what I can only try to do today is, is to tell you, listen, make sure there is some activity on your account. Now, as far as with um, them taking the money, they have every right to do it. I don't agree with it. I feel like in these times, a lot of people aren't working. Those twelve hundred dollars would have really helped you out. But unfortunately, when they said that we were going to get that stimulus check, they put those guidelines in place. Now, if we get a second one. One of the guidelines, excuse me, one of the guidelines is supposed to be they won't be taking stimulus checks due to child support. And that would be good for some of these guys to be able to get a little money. Because if you're like me, I haven't worked for the past two months. Uh, June 9th will be three months. Last time I went to work was on March 9th. And of course, if you've been looking at my videos, you will know that I contracted the uh, coronavirus. I, know I was in the hospital for six days, fighting pneumonia and the coronavirus. Still had to come home and quarantine. But. Fortunately, I made it through that. Um, if you have any questions or you just want to get something off your chest, you can email me at chrislaw021779 at gmail.com. I answer any questions. Again, contact your local child support office. If they're not open, I really don't know what to say. Fortunately, um, the one here, they're actually taking phone calls. I know a lot of guys were in the comment section and they were saying that their child support office in their area, it isn't open. And I was like, you know, I mean, literally, it is very unfortunate that those child support office, excuse me, those child support offices aren't open where you can be able to speak with somebody. Um, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. When I get another thought about child support, something that I want to give out to you, I'll make sure I do that. My name is Chris Law. This is the Chris Law Network. Thank you for watching.